All right, so I'm gonna do a quick review of a cabin air filter replacement. This is a 2016 Tundra. Um, it's probably the same for all years around the 2016, maybe even back to 2007. But anyway, this is a 2016, so super simple. Um, open the glove box. I already loosened everything up, but it's super simple. Just wanted to make a quick video. So you're gonna see the tray here. This pops up like this. You just pull it up on each corner, one from this side, one from this side. You pull it out of here. It just clips in on the bottom there. So once you have that out, you're gonna see back here, there's a little slot that says slide up and remove. Each side, this side and this side, you pull up and then it kinda, you kinda wiggle it out a little bit. Just don't, you know, yank it too hard, otherwise, you know, you might break something. So then you're left with this right here, you have this tab here, and then you have another tab over here. Once you pull both of those tabs, this thing will come right out of here, okay? Shows up on it right there. This is uh, the original cabin air filter on this truck. Like I said, it's a 2016. Um, this truck has pretty low miles. It's like 16,000 and change on this truck. So we'll see what this looks like right now. Has the up markings on there, okay? So this is the original. Wow, it's really not that bad. Here's the new one. Since I have it out, I'll probably just replace it. But yeah, it's I guess it can be replaced. There's a bunch of stuff in it. But anyway, here's the uh, the original next to the new one here. And the brand I have is right here. Picked it up on uh, Amazon and it's model KCF. 005 so it's a two-pack. I don't remember what I paid. I think it was like $15 maybe but you get another one in there, too So it's the carbon one But comparing the two this definitely seems like a much more substantial unit than the stock Toyota one um, This is uh This thing's really lightweight and it's you know a little chintzy honestly, whereas this one right here is a much more robust unit so I don't know if that really means anything, but we'll give it a go. So very simple, the up arrow there, you have the up arrow, slide that thing in there. You have the up arrow on this one here, pop it in, plug that side in, and then you just reverse the process. I'm not going to do this one-handed, so that'll be the end of the video, but anyway, that's the uh, cabin air filter replacement for a 2016 Toyota Tundra. Hope it was helpful.